Microsoft Teams is a great tool which encourages collaborative working and promotes organisation in your working day. The chat feature is a great way for you to stay connected to your colleagues. In this video, we will run through how to manage your status and alerts, focusing on how to change your status, what each status means, marking a message as important or urgent, and I'll also show you how to change your setting to allow certain colleagues to break through the do not disturb status. You can let people know that you're busy or away by setting your status in Teams. The small coloured dot on your profile will indicate if you're available or not. Because Teams syncs with your Outlook calendar, it will automatically set your status for you if you have a meeting or a call scheduled. However, you can manually set it yourself. To do this, click on your profile picture. In my case, it's my headshot, which is located in the top right hand side of Teams. A drop down menu will appear and you can choose from the list. You can also update your status from the search bar. If you type in forward slash, then either away, busy, DND, which stands for do not disturb, BRB, which stands for be right back, or available, then press enter. Your status will automatically change. Here is a run through of what each status means. Available is what you should set your status to if you're active on Teams and you do not have anything in your calendar at that particular time. It's worth noting that Teams will automatically set your status from available to away when you lock your computer or when it enters idle or sleep mode. If you use the Teams app on your mobile phone, then this will happen if the app is in the background. Busy should be used when you want to focus on a task, but you do want notifications to pop up. If you're in a meeting or on a call, Teams will automatically change your status to in a meeting. If you're on a call, it will be changed to busy when it's not been set to do not disturb. Do not disturb is for when you want to focus. This will stop notifications from popping up. Be right back is when you want people to know that you're temporarily away from your desk. This status is never set automatically. Appear away is when you need to work without responding straight away. And finally, offline is what you are when you are not signed into Teams. Now this is not a status you set, but it is a present status that you might see in a chat or channel conversation. If you want to make sure that people pay attention to your message that you send, you can mark it as important or urgent. To do this, select set delivery options, which is the exclamation mark under the compose message box. You then have the option to select important or urgent. This adds the word important or urgent in capitals above the message. Once you are in the message, you'll be able to add files, links or pictures, whatever you see fit to get your point across. To undo this, you can select standard from the delivery options and the message will be sent as usual. It's important to note that an urgent message will notify a person or group of your message repeatedly every two minutes for 20 minutes or until they read the message. The do not disturb status in Teams is for when you want to focus. It will stop notifications from popping up. However, there is a feature within settings that allows you to set certain individuals to ignore the DND status. This means that you can set it so that your boss or work group can get notifications through when messaging, calling or at mentioning you, but it keeps everyone else from interrupting your focus. This can be found in Teams settings under the Privacy tab. To access this section in Teams, press your profile image, then select Settings. A window will appear. Click Privacy, which is located on the left-hand side of the window. Now click Manage Priority Access. You will now be able to at mention the people that can break through your Do Not Disturb status. If you want to remove users from this list, you can do this by clicking the X to the right hand side of the user's name. We hope you found that useful. Don't forget to check out our socials and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also find all our other videos and how-to guides on our website.